welcome back youtubers <coughs> welcome back my friends and this is number eight so as per clients requirement my customer my clients requirement they need whenever the proceed button is will be clicked uh, means after processing all the data they're going to pro press the button proceed and then there must be a receipt in front of their eyes which we which will which they will going to print via a printer so to make a receipt we have to make a report and report for what report of a data from the database and where the data from the database where the data in the database will come from from here simple um yes so what we will going to do for it hmm let's make our first calls okay need to or oh, najit to need to make a report showing data from database and that report must be able to print that data pretty enough um, so you must have crucial report for Visual Studio 2010 go and search from Google you can easily find it one for yourself and then easily you can easily download it make sure you have service pack one before downloading it because it's a prerequisite for crystal report and that's all I'll be making a video in a short time for how to install and from where to install these all stuff if you don't if you are having problems so please comment below i will check it out and solve it so mm, make sure you have a different name than mine's form one it's look pretty awkward uh rename main window oh it's not a main window it's just unmanaged for now right click on card shop manager um, go to add select windows form windows form receipt right um, i don't know i write the right spelling or not receipt yes add set some default properties for this form windows before I make it center screen then bedroom mm, what uh, control box ok we don't want it to be a resizable part no? because it makes our form awkward so make it a fixed single or a fixed 3d that's all for now make sure you make it big enough mm. and now if uh, if you already have that which is to do 2010 uh, that crystal reports for which was to do 2010 then you're going to find crystal report viewer over here in a reporting section drag it and drop it over the form and wait for its stupid loading and now you have to make a report in which you are going you have the viewer now you want the report so select uh, click on this little uh, triangle create a new crystal report 
and her name R E C I E T T. Yes. Okay. 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 So this wizard will come up, pop up. Select using the report wizard, and select standard. Okay. Okay. Open this. Create new connection. Select uh, OLE DBADO. Um. Select that one. Find if you have your SQL server name over here. <laughs> okay, right, SQL Express. And provide the prerequisites. If it will found the right uh, concept, uh, right? Ah, yeah, okay. Uh, find your database. Here's mine. Card shop DB and select next. Select finish. And you here you have your new connection. S open up this. Select open this and then just add this one. Here you have no selected tables. Now here it's asking what you want to display. As per my client's requirement, they don't need to show customer cell on the report or on the receipt. So make sure you don't. Oh, uh, whatever you like. So okay, details and this and all that. Now group by. Actually, we will going to show the group. Uh, uh going to show the uh, show the details via order ID, the last order ID. It's a it's a kind of jugarpan. Uh, okay, I hope you get that word. Uh, it's a, uh, it's um by order ID we are going to show the details. So definitely we are going to make an make a grow make the order ID to be a grouper head. Okay. Mm, next, what do you like to? Well, we have all the real stuff, and if we see anything required, then we will make one. Select next. Select next. Standard. You can choose different. There are some awesomes. I like this one, but I really don't like this one. Shading, shading. What about this one? They might be using black and white printer. Let it go with the standard one. Select finish. Error. In <coughs> oh, that was some naming problem. So I change their name to receive report and to receive form. If you have any problem similar to like mine, delete both of the files, make new ones. That will save you. Okay, now we will going to preview the report. This is how going to look like. No, no, no. This is now how it is being looked alike. We have to change its. Nakshe. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So, from where to start? Mm. Mm. Delete this. Group not. So, order ID. Okay, I'll pause and rearrange all the, of the properties, and then you can follow on. Okay, uh, I need to mention this. 
this order ID is a field heading and I get it from here you can make your uh, one also na? so by how right click insert text object and you can make the uh, like uh, uh, a field like similar to this or you can grab drag and draw similarly easily okay okay so I make it to some extent and here's a preview mm, this 1000 looks idiot so let me delete it and also I don't want this space to be occupied so I suppressed it and what's this 1000 again this also looks stupid suppressed so I am now only this I have to main, uh, make it more good okay so as these all are some currency values so I'm going to so what I did I just selected this symbol currency symbol to all these objects to all these fields so that it can show a nice dollar sign but as we don't owe dollars so I'm going to change it to my preferred currency symbol okay, here so you following go to right click right click format object select customize select currency symbol and change it to whatever you like whatever your currency module or currency symbol is replace this okay sorry position and make sure you put it to the right position rupees 123 minus 123 okay this is <coughs> my preferred position and stuff I'm changing all other values so I'm pausing